Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I'm back once again on the wooden bike and my friend Erwin has joined the chat. We're about to cut the seat down on this huge thing here because this is pointless and then we're going to send some tricks and it's probably going to be the last time this bike ever gets ridden because we're going to go hammer time enough that it breaks. And that's basically the challenge of the day is how long can this bike last? Louis Pilgrim behind the camera there is also going to join in and he already told me he wants to do a 360 on it. Can't wait to see that. But firstly, we're just going to cut this down to get it out of the way and get this bike ready for some sends. Let's. Nice one, Erwin. Oh, Erwin's well strong. Wow. Look at all of that unneeded weight. That's actually quite, feel that, Louis. That's quite heavy, isn't it? After a bit of rummaging, I found a perfect bit of wood here that's going to fit. Look, see that? So we're just going to screw that on with a hand drill. We've now sort of screwed most of that in. I need to cut this down now. Yeah, that was actually a really good cut for me. Now we're just going to actually sand it down. So for that, you know where we now have to go. like that you have a perfectly sanded edge almost ready for a shreddy there we go i've now completed this ridiculous bike it's cut down we've got the fresh sort of saddle on there slash remover of this thing and it's all smoothed down thanks to the curb so we're not going to get any cuts we've also got a little backup camping fishing filming chair but before we leave for a shreddy i just want to add some you know some cool stickers from the merch store we got that on there the dream not sure how long that's going to last on there because it's actually wood and it's not polished og sticker on the front look at that then we can't forget that we have to send it so that can go there then obviously today is going to be epic as always i mean of course it's going to be epic we've got a wooden bike for later it's definitely going to be crack on your clock isn't it like every day dreams so i think it's time now to get this thing airborne do some tricks and send it so let's get out of here we've now come to a local bmx track this is braintree bmx track it's a lovely lovely well-maintained race track but we're here on this crazy piece of machinery which is going to be way better without this seat so the first thing i want to do is just blast a lap of this track let's straight in Full speed ahead! And across the finish line! <laughs> there we go, a lap complete on this bike. We had to fast forward some of them bits. Because it's not as fast as a mountain bike. There's a bit of an issue here with this, that when you pedal, it like slides so you can't go full power or it doesn't fully work but it survived a lap and we want to do a few little tricks and jumps on some of these mounds here so let's go and find a cool one to sesh so i've decided to session this look at that one there it's quite a steep spiny lip it's actually the takeoff of a double but no way am i getting speed for that but the cool thing about BMX tracks is you can ride the rollers like little spines. So I'm gonna see if I can get a bar spin over that as the first trick on this wooden bike with its new mod. Cool. <laughs> That's annoying. That's basically the bike telling me, no, I don't wanna to die today. Well, unfortunately, even if you don't snap, you're going on fire because of that. After a bit of fixing and bending the chain ring, it's gonna work. So 
Let's throw this bar spin now. Come on. Oh! Wimp. Oh! First move of the day. Well, that actually works so good. There we go, stoked that the video is underway now and the bike is still alive. Uh, it's very long, this thing. Look at it, it's like the longest bike ever. Super hard to manual, but I wanna see if I can get a Manny across these three rollers in the background as the next little challenge. Oh my God, it's so difficult that long. No. Oh God. Oh, kinda. I need to go further. Oh! Oh, it's so cool. Wow. That's incredible. Let me just try. A f I'm gonna go from further and see if I can manual all of it. Oh, that's gonna be so hammer time. Oh! Oh God, so, so close. Woo! Oh God, that was so, so difficult. The length of this thing just makes it so hard to control Manny's and without the brake as well. Super Niles Barkley. Might be Louis's turn for a 360. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it, Louis. It's your go. Right, so I'm going to try and do a one foot can on this little thing there. There's a little roll in that I think I can roll in off. So. What about that three, though? Well. Um. <laughs> For the sort of like longevity of the video and stuff, I might do that three a bit later on, you know? Because don't want to sort of land a bit skew whiff and break it. Even though I do want to make the video longer, I think Sam wants to try a tail whip, which I'm not sure about like length of video, if he doesn't land that correctly. But here you go. All right, let's give that a go then. As Louis just said, a tail whip is what I've actually dreamt of doing on this bike. With this part cut off, it is literally made for it. It's almost like a scooter because it's got such a low standover height. But is the head tube gonna stay on and is it gonna stay in one piece? Well, let's find out, shall we? No, no. Oh, it was such a bad attempt as well. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh man. I really, really thought that was gonna work. All is not lost though. We could just, we could screw like a big bit of wood there, couldn't we? And that would hold it up. We could use a scaffold board. It would be so strong. Right, that's it. Operation scaffold board on wooden bike is about to commence. Come on, let's go. I'm pretty sad that that bike's broken, but I'm sure we're gonna fix it. But to make myself a bit happier in the meantime, we're in the truck, we're in a huge empty field, and we're about to do some drifts in the V8. Let's shred it. Those drifts were so good. I'm so stoked on life again. Now, we're back home though, and I tried the scaffold board, and unfortunately it doesn't fit in between the crank arm and the frame. But I do have this leftover piece of MTB hopper ramp, and this is gonna fit perfectly here. So we're just gonna draw a little line, and then we're just gonna cut this roughly here, and then I can screw it on, and it's gonna be actually one of the best dreams ever. There we go. When I screw that all in, 
that's going to make this frame so stiff and then we'll be able to complete the challenge of doing a tail whip. <sighs> Two perfectly equal bits now look. we we'll put this part in here. Way too long screws for this operation but... Right so that's that in. This is incredible. And that's actually feeling much more solid already. Like as you can see, it already works. Oh my God, so with one more we can do a tail whip. It's gonna be so sash. Let's get to a local skate park and tail whip this thing once and for all. Let's get out of here. Just turned up, someone smashed glass everywhere and there's also a naked person running around. Super weird. Guess we are in Essex. This thing's not gonna whip though, it's so heavy now. Let's try a little jump out first and see if it even works. It's so heavy now with that on there. Let me just bar out of it, see what that's like, yeah? Okay. Bars work. The back wheel basically doesn't even come off the floor though. I'm gonna need quite a big jump to whip that. I might have made it too heavy. It's 180 out, yeah? Mm. See if that works. Wow. Sick. The tail whip's getting more likely now. Yeah, I'm gonna drop in here, get speed and then try a whip. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, it's possible. Oh my God, that was such a heavy impact and it didn't even bend. This is it. Tail whip, wooden bike. <laughs> oh, there's so many sharp edges. Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Are you enjoying it though? They're loving it, look. <laughs> you should laugh. You're allowed to laugh. Can we get a replay on that, please? <laughs> Shall we try it again then, or? Yeah. Let's get it. Without dying. Oh, again. Such a bad idea. I've come so far though. I've come so far to something or another. In the end, doesn't even matter. I have to land it now. Come on! Yes! Thank you! Oh my god. It, it hurt. It might have cost me a year off of my life in terms of pain and bad back, but I'm taking it. Less reaps on that. Wow, it's been a heavy day. We've only got two spots out of it, but we landed a tail whip on this bike and we also completed the challenge of snapping it completely. This thing's ridiculous. It's so cool that it worked with the MTB hoppers like screwed to the side, but it is so painful to ride, not only when you crash it, but with these edges here. I've also noticed that the head tube has got a big crack in it, so that's about to come off which is so gnarly. We don't want to die on it just yet. So I think for today, with all this pain and destruction of the bike, we're going to call it a day on this wooden thing. But I love riding weird bikes. If you guys spot any weird bikes online, please message me. I want to hit up some more crazy stuff. 
but unfortunately on that bombshell of snapped frames huge crashes and blood that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe see you in the next one